Hi, I'm Andy Janicki, Accessibility Coordinator with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. Just wanted to say thank you to Johnson Outdoors for donating this awesome boat. It's going to help a lot of folks with mobility impairments get back on the water, experience something they've never had before or haven't in a long time. So, thanks again. I had a spinal cord injury about three and a half years ago and I haven't been able to get back into a solo kayak in four years, so this is a pretty awesome experience. It's my first time on the water in that long in my own boat. It's pretty awesome. After my injury, I just became really active in, um, I don't know, disability rights advocacy, I guess you could say, um, on my campus and within uh, state universities just because that's, you know, where I was. I went back to school. Uh, so that that's what kind of led me to this point. I, I, what I'm learning is the you know technicalities, specifications of the Americans with Disabilities Act, and what goes into making a place truly universally you know user friendly, I guess. And it seems like Wisconsin's really been you know real progressive, a real leader in accessibility within the outdoors. There's been someone in my position, not full time, but someone doing this job for over 20 years, which is, I mean, it blows my mind. So here's me leaning over pretty far. This would be, you know, if I was really falling over. And like I said, I'm paralyzed from about the collarbones down. So this is how much stability these uh, outriggers have. It's pretty awesome. The pontoons, the pontoons are adjustable. Each, each limb has four spots. One, two, three, four. So we could go out as wide as that or in, you know, all the way over to here if we wanted. But we're at now, it looks like about a five foot pontoon width to me. And they also need to have a little bit of care uh, when you put the pontoons in to make sure that they're parallel to the long axis of the kayak. Okay. So this is the upper half of the chair. Wow. It's connected. It's connected with the pin, which goes in. So all I did was pull a pin out, lift it up, and it came right off. And so now there's a, a lower mid-back support that's still behind him. Uh, but this is the part that also is, is part of the universal chair from Chosen Valley. Really, I think it'd be great to get some more of these boats out on the water, you know, helping one person out an hour at a time or something with a dis disability get back on the water that's great but if you know a handful of people can get out here um, and create some kind of kayaking group throughout the state i think that would be just amazing until this point until i found out about you know folks like kevin carr who do these kind of modifications i was just kind of winging it as far as getting back outside went you know, I've, I've got a tandem kayak that I've been using um, just because it's real wide, it's real stable. I've got someone else in the boat with me who can help me out if things get a little rough. But um, yeah, I could have been out in a boat on my own a long time ago probably if I'd have known about adaptive paddling all, and all there is available. It's going to be available just for folks with disabilities. Um, anyone who has some kind of mobility impairment can rent it out for free. Um, it's going to be here at the concession. And I think it's going to open up a lot of opportunities for folks, um, maybe give people a chance to do something they never have before. It's amazing freedom when you're out there, man, I'll tell you. Getting around on trails in your chair is so much different because everything's an obstacle, but there's no obstacle once you're out on the water. It's awesome. Sweet ride.